My name is Tom Wyland. I, uh, this is my 19th year teaching here at Elgin High School. I direct the orchestra here, and for the last seven years I've also been directing the orchestra at Larkin. So these days I do Larkin in the morning and come to Elgin in the afternoon. I get the best of both possible worlds. Well, I was born in 1957, so I went to elementary school between, let's see, 1963 and 1971 in Chicago. I'm a native of Chicago and I went to Wayne Tech High School and then I attended Northwestern University. I got a bachelor's and a master's in orchestral conducting from that institution. So you can pretty much say I was in elementary school in the 60s and high school and college in the 70s because I graduated from college in the 1980s. Well, I, I remember when I was talking about this with Ben, uh, you know, we've mentioned things like the Cold War and everything like that. And, that, that was a scary time because we kept thinking that the Russians were going to shoot missiles at us, and if they did, we'd have to shoot them back. I was only five years old in 1962 when they had the Cuban Missile Crisis, but I can still remember hearing the adults talking about it. And this is so terrible, we're going to be in trouble. And uh, well, President Kennedy told them, okay, we'll blockade. They turned up that, it was a game of chicken, they turned around and went back. But years later, hearing about that, scary when you hear that we could have been we were literally on the brink of nuclear, nuclear annihilation that's all it was. yes the cold war was just that's what it was it was a big threat we had our missile they had theirs and you're always under the suppression of what's going to happen in one day and then they show these movies of what they had there was this movie in 1983 called the day after when supposedly we sent our missiles towards there and theirs came here and they showed it landing in the middle of Kansas, like right in the middle of the country, so a couple, bunch of guys in a barber shop having a good time, and all of a sudden a big flash. And then it was called the day after, because the next day, the whole, it was just desolate. And people's hair was falling out and all this, and they're like, oh my God, it literally is the end of the world. I think there was a sigh of relief on everybody's part that hopefully we weren't always going to be uh, living under this nuclear threat. You can thank me, Kyle Gorbachev, for that one. Had enough, had enough guts, enough chutzpah, wrong, that's the Jewish term, to say this isn't going to work. I mean, he still had to battle the old KGB and the old secret police and everybody, but he ran for premier or leader of the, whatever they call the Soviet leader. You know, he got up there and, I mean, they call Putin a president, but I mean, whatever they call him. He's the one that said, no, to me, the fall of the Berlin Wall was as symbolic of the fall of the Soviet communism. We were watching the news constantly, just watching people literally picking the wall apart and people, East German cousins and families who hadn't seen each other in 20 years suddenly could just walk, walk down the street and see them instead of having to stand at the wall and get permission and all this other stuff. And well, yes, uh, it seems now, see back then the enemy was the Soviet Union and communism. It was this huge, large entity. We knew where they were, they knew where we were. We have satellite, they have satellite, they got rockets, we got rockets. Now, it's a, the enemy is, is a shadow, it's ISIS. And all these other people that want to blow up your, your bus and your truck and everything else like that. that could, not to say that kind of thing didn't happen, it just didn't happen. If anything, uh, it uh, reminds people that, yes, yes, we are America, we're supposed to be the great global superpower. But they showed us back then that they could be just as powerful, just as now, as I say, the, 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 the enemy now is terrorism. While we like to think, you know, we strut our flag and everything because we were successful in World War II, etc. But uh, it, it, I think uh, that whole idea of, of the big Russia, the, the powerful country, they're a great check and balance on everything, you know, and, and, and they got to be watched. Look at what our situation in Syria now. The Russians, they backed that uh, uh, Bashar Assad regime, who sprays chemicals on little children and everything. You know, they're backing him, we're backing the rebels. And uh, in a way, the, uh, this mini Cold War is still going on, just because of they're back on one side, we're back on the other. It's not like everybody's all friendly and we're all neighbors of the fence shaking hands. So, in a way, we still have the Cold War, it's just in a, in a different arena. Very dialed down. Very dialed down, yes, but it's still there.